Today, I'm going to install a new trunk seal on the deck lid of my 67 Cougar. In the previous video when I redid the taillights, um, I mentioned that the trunk seal is not correct. Um, so one, it's obviously not adhered very well. And two, it doesn't go there. This seal on a 67 Cougar and Mustang um, should be glued to the bottom of the deck lid, basically in this channel right here. So I'm gonna go through the process of removing this guy, which is really just pulling it off. Um, and then probably the harder part will be removing the adhesive you can actually see where this bond actually failed isn't the adhesive to the body. It's to the adhesive to the actual rubber seal. Um, so I'm going to remove this, spend some time cleaning up the adhesive off this edge. But it does come off, you know, it peels off, but it's going to take some time. And I'll see if there's any solvents or anything that will help facilitate this. But more importantly... Since there is no seal on the deck lid, I'm going to remove the deck lid, go through that process, and uh, install the seal and demo that. To do this properly, it's best to remove the deck lid. Um, that way, when you're installing the new seal, you're not fighting against gravity, um, trying to like stick it up and make it adhere um, while it's hanging upside down. So removing the deck lid is easy. On each hinge, there's just two bolts, okay? However, these bolt holes are elongated here um, to give you some adjustment when installing the deck lid. And that way you could adjust the, the alignment of the trunk. Um, so what I'm going to do is use tape around the corner, the perimeter of the hinge. So then when I reinstall this, I'm installing it in the same exact location. So I'm just gonna come in and mark the perimeter of the hinge with some painter's tape. So when I go reinstall it, I'll know to put the hinge right in this little square. I'm going to tape up the other one, and then it'll be time to remove these bolts. The only other thing I want to do before I loosen these bolts is ideally this would be like a two-person job, and you'd have uh, one person at each end of the car, basically, with one hand under the deck lid here while loosening. So then when the bolts come out, this corner, this edge, doesn't hit the paint of the, the car, and you can just lift it off. Um, again, since I'm by myself, I'm going to protect this. This car, right, this paint is far from perfect. There's scratches, but it doesn't mean I want to add more to it. So, have I have these padded moving blankets. So, I'm going to make sure that this gets under the edge of the deck lid on both sides across the whole car. I removed the two bolts from the other hinge and the deck lid is now resting on the moving blank over there. Before I reinstall, I'll clean up this like surface rust and uh, treat these surfaces with uh, paint once they're rust free. 
So now I'm just going to take the deck lid and uh, put it on a clean surface to work on it. So here's the deck lid. And you can see here where the seal is supposed to be. And actually, you can see the original color of the car. The car was uh, green. Um, so I am going to, you can tell it's not perfect. So I am going to clean this. So I'm actually going to use a wire brush to take off what's remaining of the adhesive. I'm also gonna use it to get rid of some of this little surface rust, including what's in like the folded edge of the deck lid here and where the hinges were. And I think once it's clean, I'm actually gonna paint the bottom side of this deck lid and then glue on the new seal. That way I'm done um, with at least the bottom of this. So that's not exactly what I was expecting to do, but uh, while I'm here and I have it, I think it's really easy to do, so I'm gonna do it. So the deck lid is more or less ready to go. I cleaned um, and degreased the kind of the channel where the, where the seal is gonna get glued down. So the important thing about the seal is it is, you know, it's a single strip, it's not like a loop. So there will be a seam when we install it, and I want the seam to be right where the latch is. But the probably the most important thing to do is look at the profile of the seal material here. And you can see it's like a C shape, right? And if you look, the bottom leg here is longer than the top one. And not only is it longer, but this surface here is kind of flat. This flat surface is the surface that gets glued to the deck lid in this channel here. And then the other important thing to notice is it's a C shape the bull nose, if you will, of the C is towards the outside of the, the deck lid. So what does not go like this, right? It does not glue down like that, where the C would be to the outside. It goes like this. So the next step from a prep point of view is I prepped the channel. It's also important to take the isopropyl alcohol and wipe down this flat surface as well, because you don't really know what's on there from a manufacturing point of view. So we're gonna wipe that down, let it dry very quickly. And then we're gonna use this stuff. We're gonna use this 3M weather strip and gasket adhesive. Um, basically it's fast drying, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a very thin coat to both surfaces, so to the channel here and to the bottom of the gasket. And we're gonna let them get tacky, both surfaces get tacky, and then we're gonna stick it down and work our way around the entire deck lid. And I'll show that and discuss it a little more as we go forward with it. So like I said, I'm gonna take the isopropyl alcohol and clean the bottom half of my gasket here. Just to make just to make sure there's no oily residue or anything like that that may impact the bonding of it. So that's cleaned up. We'll let that dry a little with the give a chance for all the alcohol to evaporate. Put this down again since I was just touching it. So I am going to run a strip of the adhesive basically around the channel and then do the same thing on the flat part of the seal but I'm only going to do like a quarter of the uh, the installation at a time so I don't get too far ahead but I will do this first Okay, I 
did half of the, the hood here, half of the surface. So I have that half of the adhesive setting up. So now I'm gonna take my actual seal. And like I said, starting on this flat part of it, just do a very light bead of adhesive on here. Okay, so we're going to start with that much. I'm going to let that kind of tack up. I actually have a little brush here that I'm going to use to spread the little bead I have of the adhesive. It's tacking up fairly quickly. So I'm going to let this tack up. And I am going to slowly stick. So I'm going to start. And I have the adhesive basically on till this point. So I'm going to make the turn and stop right there so the next thing i'm going to do is i laid my seal out and i'm going to use tape to basically pin it to where it's supposed to be here painter's tape okay I'm going to use the tape to apply a little bit of tension to the seal. Okay, so that section is complete. So now I'm going to do this next part of it. So again, I'm just going to apply adhesive to the flat spot of the seal. spread it out a little bit either with the brush or with the the tip of the adhesive container it's to itself and we're going to let this set up a little let it tack up a little bit and then come in put it right Okay. It's probably overkill with the amount of tape I'm using, but I just want it to be sure.
So now I'm going to glue the bead around the rest of the deck lid. Okay. So that's going to set up. So now I'm going to also put on the bead on the back side of the seal from where I left off last. And we're just going to continue forward, section by section, leaving a little bit of time for the adhesive to tack up. So what I'm going to do here is do this last section and then just use a pair of scissors to trim um, the seal so it butts up nice and tightly with where I started. So that's really it. The seal's all glued in. You can see here's where I join the two ends. Um, we're just gonna let it cure overnight. I have the uh, tape kind of just securing it in place and trying to like apply a little bit of pressure. I may put it like another piece here, but I am going to let this cure overnight and then it'll be time to reinstall the deck lid. So I removed the tape that was holding the seal and you can see that the seal is all nice and glued in place. It's in there. It's nice and well adhered. So now we could install. So to reinstall, um, I have my padded blanket here just to, so I can rest the deck lid on it, um, the corners without doing any damage. I'm going to use the tape that I used kind of as a guide when I removed it to get it uh, aligned. And if you look, these holes are slotted, so there's a lot of adjustment even on the um, the bracket end, like the, the nut end on the deck lid slides within the slotted hole there. So there's a lot of adjustment that can be done, and there's a lot of adjustment that's going to need to be done. Because if you think about it, we have a nice, thick, fresh, new gasket on the deck lid so what happens is even though if you put it exactly where it was when you go close it it's probably going to be a lot thicker than before so we probably have to do some adjustment of the latch mechanism and kind of just get the see the, all the alignment on the panels correct that's that's normal when you replace the seals so i'm going to grab the deck lid now resting it on the padded blanket And I'm going to try to kind of support it on my shoulder and start these bolts. Got 
one pinned up. Come here. So I have the all four bolts kind of tight, not really super tight, but I'm going to check fitment. I'm going to remove the pad so it's not in the, in the way. Here I go. Dropping it. Everything looks well aligned. The gasket is already engaging because it's nice and thick over here, right? So basically what you got to do is just Give it a little, I want to check the alignment again, make sure nothing's going to bind, everything looks good, and just, there we go. So I'm going to adjust the latch probably, because you can see how it's high, um, and the good thing to use as a gauge is the stainless trim. Make sure the trim on the deck lid is aligned with the trim on the quarter panel extensions, and it's a little higher. So I'm gonna adjust the latch mechanism to make sure it goes down a little further. But otherwise, the gap alignment is beautiful. And we've got a brand new seal. So I'm gonna make that little adjustment and really that's it. We got the new trunk seal on the uh, 67 Cougar here. Um, gonna be doing a lot more with this car, including some of the other seals around the windows, around the doors, that sort of thing. Um, redo the interior and have a whole bunch of fun with this, getting it on the road again, uh, ready for the season. Um, so if you like this video, uh, like, click like below and, uh, subscribe to this channel.